Alright guys, now that you've built a majority of like the landscape of your fort, it's time to actually build the things that make it a fort. Now we're going to start off with the office building. So let me go back to my recent models, get the part ready, and now we are going to start the office building. So let's begin. I'm going to make the office building um, a little bit off the ground, not that much. And let me just make it... I'm building my buildings different colored from everything else, so I'm building it discolored, actually. I'm going to make stairs. 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 I'm going to make this... I'm going to change it only to, like, one stud, only because the stairs are... They're, it's so hard to get the stairs even, so... I'll make, I think, around five or... S Five through seven steps, I'm not sure yet which will look better. For some reason these these kind of, oh yeah, I guess you know I have half slabs. Let me change that actually. It's actually connecting. I'll fix it. I hate building with single slabs. Never build with them, uh, single slabs, by the way. Um, the only reason I'm building with single slabs is because, um, of, like, this freaking staircase I have to do. actually good. So let me make it a half slab. Let's even it out, and then we can get started with the build. So now, uh, let me actually paint these different colors. Um, yeah, that's the color. I'm going to try to make a realistic looking railing. By using rotating tools and all that fancy stuff. That looks nice. Actually, I think a wedge would, uh, would actually suit better here. Thankfully, I now have... That's the wrong tab. I now have the wedge model! Basically, the point of this is kind of just to provide the wall for the area. This doesn't look like too bad. I'm sure it's even. It's a little laggy right now. So, I'm just. Right now, I'm kind of just. I hate when it lags, so it's going to take a little while. Don't worry, this part's probably going to be like 20-30 minutes long. I'll make it as long as it has to be. So, there we go. Recent models. Now we can start with the actual building itself. It's not going to be, I'm not going to try to make it that big. Some things I'm going to make inside it are a conference table, um, 
Yeah, a conference table, so... Why can't I think of anything else? A conference table, some offices, and, um... What do I call it? What else was I thinking of? Um... I was thinking of, uh... Oh my god, what was it? Oh yes, a garage. Garage, that's it. I was gonna make a garage as well. So, yeah. Garage making is fun. I can make this one block higher. For both sides. Because I'm actually going to make another little railing. Good, so I'm gonna make it actually go all the way down to the end here. And I'm gonna make it turn, and there's gonna be like a little, like, almost like a porch place. It'll look nice, I think, at least. So I'm going to make it like this, and now we can actually make the building. Actually, I'm going to make it quite large, this porch, because I want to add like lounge tables on the outside and everything. Now I'm building the first wall. And here's my first wall. Actually, I think I have to color these. Damn it, that's not what I meant to do. Dark stone gray, so now we kind of have a decent looking building. Now let me copy and paste that. I'm going to make a window. Let me move this. down a bit. This is extremely laggy. I don't know why it's so laggy. So my, probably because the place is getting bigger, so that means more lag. Ugh. I hate this so much. Do, 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 do. I'm just talking to nothing as I build. So, now to make glass, um, let me just, you're going to need to make a block. I'm going to make it in a little bit, like that, on both sides. Let's go up. Now, let me make it go over. Um, since the group color is green, then we make this bright green. And now to make it see through, you have to make it a decimal. Now, zero means it's like, um, zero means it's like that. One means you can't see it at all. So let me just show one as an example. You can't see it. But if you get it in the middle, so like, I'm going to do 0.5, you can, it's sort of like that. It's see through. I'm going to do 0.6. That's what I'm going to capitalize on. So it kind of, you can see the green as glass and I think it looks very nice. So now it's time to actually make the door. So let me actually just so this looks more professional. All 
Alright, so now I'm going to make this like that. And one last, and one thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my models and I'm going to be searching yet again because it's deep in there and I think this one's actually really deep um, for an automatic door model, so just bear with me. Finally got the automatic door. It took me forever to find it, as you saw. <laughs> my god. It's a torture finding that model. So let me... Torture finding this model. I don't know why it took me so long. I swear I had it as part of my models, but... I'll put a link in the description below so you don't have to, like, waste as much time as I did trying to find this frickin' automatic door. It's not really that important of a model, either. I mean, we could, like, go without it, but just to look professional, I'm having it. Ugh. That was frickin' insane. And now, I believe I am done. Just have to raise this up. I'm done with this part. Let me just make the automatic door. I'm gonna do you one. I'll make that bright green. D two. Green. Beautiful. I think it looks beautiful. Just the front porch right now. I think that's special. There we go. So now we can do the rest of the office building. So I'm I'm gonna make I'm gonna try to make it two floors, but if I have to I'll make it one floor. It's not that big of a deal. So let's go to recent models. I'm gonna go to um, uh, another part. Actually I'm just gonna copy and paste the part. Like this. So I'm going to have at the main door another a wall right here. On my all my door model again. So Shall be fun. Now I'm just gonna copy and paste around it, you know. The usual stuff, making walls and stuff. So now let me go on the sides. Picking another wall. And this room is going to be a, the conference room. It's going to be a very long conference table, I think. And unfortunately, I do not have a conference table model, so let's go and find one in the free models. This looks a little too small, but I'll use it. Whatever. 
Very nice looking table too, I have to admit. I like how this looks. I'm actually going to the table itself. I'm gonna make all the blue things green or your group color. There we go. It's very laggy, this game. Ugh. I think the tables and chair. I think that um, everything else is fine with the coloring, so that's good. Let's go back to uh, copying and pasting. So I'm going to make this wall here. It's going to be a little hallway. even or not. Now I've copied and pasted the automatic door wall and I'm going to place it right here. Scale it. There we go. So here is my conference room. It looks very beautiful. Very beautiful indeed. And there we go, our conference room is done. We have two doors, one from the side here, and one all the way over here. It looks very nice. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a front desk. No, this is too big for a front desk. Unfortunately, once again, I don't have a front desk model, so I'll go and find one. This one. Yeah, this one's fine. Alright, so I have a nice front desk here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to change the colors. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. So, now that that's... I'm actually going to move it up a bit because I have to build the back wall here. Now that that's that... Let me just finish the first floor. Finish it off. So I'm going to move the front desk back into the wall here. Looks very nice, I think. So when you walk in, you have a front desk, you have the conference room. Um, what else should I have? Maybe like a shop or something. That would be pretty nice. So we got a bunch of crates. I'm using a lot of free models for this building, fortunately. I can't really give... I'm just trying to like point that out, that I'm giving credit to the people who I, whose models I actually use. Let's make sure it's anchored. So let me have the crates. All nice and even. Have one like this. 
And the other one like this, so it looks like a giant pyramid. And, um, to wrap things up for this part, I'm going to show you how to make a shop bot. Meaning it's a help bot that gives you, um, you know, stuff. So let me let me go find it in my models. Another like musical montage of me finding it to my models. Enjoy. Found it. So I'm gonna put the soldier here. I'm not really gonna change how it looks. I can show you how to change how it looks. It's for some reason it spawns another head. There we go. So, close our Skype because it's lagging me. So, now I'm going to go in to um, uh, those shops options. Um, watch my statue tutorial um, to help you kind of like change how he looks and stuff. This kind of applies to the same thing. Um, now we're going to go to head. You're going to go to dialogue. Script. Now, what you're gonna have to do is you have to get the name of the weapon. You have to put it. You have to make sure the weapon is in lighting or light lighting. Yeah, and you have to type in the exact name here. So let me actually find a nice weapon to use. Um, let's do AK-47. Let's just do this Uzi. Put that in the uh, lighting, actually. Um. Okay. It's weird. I have to go all. I'm apparently at the beach now. <laughs> that was weird. So I have to go all the way back from the beach. I think this is a bigger flat man than I intended it to be. The office building is massive and it's so tiny. Damn, I made this flat land too big. I mean, a lot of trees. I'm actually gonna. I probably will do something in this area, but um, that's not important right now. That's uh, the name is submachine gun. So I'm gonna go back into a script. Um, for both these, I'm gonna type in submachine gun. Sub. Machine gun. I believe this is actually the first script we're dealing with right now. I thought the whole seat. No, it's actually not. Sub machine gun. Make sure it's the exact name of the weapons, caps count, and um, what he's gonna say is he's gonna say, I have um, a submachine gun. You will love it. And the person's gonna say, Yes, I'll take it. And then he'll be like, and then he'll give it to you. The tone has to be friendly, and his purpose is going to be the shop. So, when he when he appears, he's gonna have a dollar sign over his head. You're gonna have to click the dialogue, and he'll give you a machine gun. That's pretty cool to have. So now to finish off the tutorial, well not the tutorial, just like this part of the tutorial, I'm gonna finish off the downstairs. So, just give me a sec. I don't care if it's like abnormally thick the wall. I'll probably just fix that. There we go. So I'm gonna leave it off here. Um so I'll see you guys next part.